your headphones just became a backdoor to your phone, and I'm not talking about some theoretical attack that requires physical access. I'm talking about a vulnerability that affects 70 million devices from Sony, Bose, Marshall, and JBL that can be exploited from 10 meters away. No pairing, no pop-up, no warning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sergio Popovici, a cybersecurity professional based in Munich, Germany, and today we're diving into one of the most concerning Bluetooth vulnerabilities discovered this year. Let me show you how bad this really is. Three QVS were disclosed on December 27, 2025 at the 39C3 conference. CV2025207000, CV2025201, and CV2025702. All of them affect devices using Aroha Bluetooth chips, and the list of vulnerable products is massive. So what's the problem? Aroha chips ship with a factory protocol called RACE. This protocol is meant for testing and firmware updates during production. It gives complete read and write access to RAM and flash memory, and here's the critical part. This protocol was never disabled before the devices were shipped to customers. RACE is accessible over three channels, USB HID, Bluetooth Classicer COM on channel 21, and BLE Get services, and none of them require authentication. Let me break down how the attack works. Step 1. An attacker gets within Bluetooth range, about 10 meters. They connect to your headphones via BLE or Bluetooth Classic. The connection is completely silent. You won't see any notification on your phone. You won't hear any sound in your headphones. Nothing. Step 2. Using race commands, the attacker dumps the flash memory from your headphones. Inside that memory is your Bluetooth link key. This is a 1 to 8 bit key that your phone uses to verify that your headphones are trusted. Step 3. With the link key in hand, the attacker can now clone your headphone's Bluetooth identity. When they connect to your phone, your device sees Sony WH-1000XM5 or whatever model you own. Your phone trusts it automatically because it has the correct key, no pairing pop-up, no user interaction required, and now, the attacker has access. They can use HF commands to get your phone number, they can access your contacts and call history, they can trigger Siri or Google Assistant, they can accept incoming calls silently, they can make outgoing calls to premium numbers that cost you money, they can activate your phone's microphone and listen to your conversations. At the 39C3 conference, researchers demonstrated live attacks on WhatsApp and Amazon accounts. They showed complete account takeover. This is not theoretical, this is real, so which devices are vulnerable? Sony WH-1000XM4, WH-1000XM5, WH-1000XM6, WF-1000XM5, and LinkBuds S Bose Quid Comfort Earbuds, Marshall Major V, Minor 4, Acton 3, Stanmore 3, JBL Live Buds 3, and Endurance Race 2, Jabra Elite 8 Active, though Jabra has already patched this, Bayer Dynamic Amaron 300, Toyfo Tad WS2, Jalab Epic Air Sport ANC, and this is not the complete list. Aroha chips are used in hundreds of products. Some manufacturers don't even know they're using Aroha because they outsource the Bluetooth module to a third party. The good news? Apple AirPods are not vulnerable. They use their own chips. Now, Aroha released a fix to manufacturers on June 4th, 2025. That's six months ago. But most devices are still running vulnerable firmware. Why? because firmware updates come through manufacturer apps that most people never open after initial setup. Jabra acknowledged the QVS and patched quickly. Marshall quietly released a patch. Sony didn't respond until they heard about the public disclosure. So what can you do to protect yourself? First, update your headphones firmware immediately. Open your manufacturer's app, Sony Headphones Connect, Bose Connect, Marshall Bluetooth, whatever app came with your device, and check for updates. Second, remove old Bluetooth pairings from your phone. Go into your Bluetooth settings and delete any devices you don't use regularly. Third, disable Bluetooth when you're not using it. I know this is inconvenient, but it's the most effective protection. And fourth, if you're a high-value target, journalist, activist, executive, anyone who handles sensitive information, consider switching to wired headphones. Yes, seriously, the 3.5 mm jack never looked so good. This vulnerability shows us something important. Convenience features that make production easier, like the RACE protocol, should never make it into production devices. Factory tools should be disabled before shipping, authentication should be mandatory, and manufacturers need to take security seriously from day one, not after a public. Disclosure forces their hand. 
If you want to learn more about cybersecurity, Bluetooth security, and how to test network security professionally, I cover all of this on my channel. Hacking is not a hobby, it's a way of life. Thanks for watching. If you found this valuable, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Stay secure.